Monetary unit sampling is a type of variable sampling, and it's used to figure out whether account balances or transactions contain misstatements. And monetary unit sampling tends to select larger dollar balances or transactions into the sample, and that's because it treats each individual dollar within the population as a sampling unit. So let me show you how that would work. So let's say that we've got this list here. We've got a bunch of different customers, and then we have the accounts receivable balance so this is the amount of money so customer one owes our company fifteen thousand thirty four dollars customer two owes us a little over twelve thousand and so forth so when monetary unit sampling each dollar is treated as a potential unit like a potential sampling unit so this customer right here customer 20 they owe twenty four thousand four hundred ninety four dollars they would be much more likely to be selected into the sample then customer six, who only owes us $948. Think of it like this. Think of each dollar as a ticket for a lottery. And so customer 20 has 24,494 tickets, whereas customer six only has 948. And if one of the tickets, just one from customer 20 is selected, then customer 20's entire account receivable balance is going to be in the sample okay so they have they have a lot more tickets they have the customer 20 is a lot more likely to be picked for the sample because it has a lot more chances than customer six so that's how monetary unit sampling works so basically the larger balances are going to tend to be more likely to get to get picked in and put into uh, the sample okay now with monetary unit sampling uh, we're more likely we're trying to calculate usually overstatements Okay, we're trying to do overstatements. So things like uh, marketable securities, accounts receivable, inventory, we're trying to figure out whether they are overstated. If we're trying to look at like unrecorded liabilities or uh, we have a lot of things where there's a balance of zero, things like that, uh, you tend to use classical variable sampling. Now, uh, monetary unit sampling is used a lot more frequently than classical variable sampling and they're because remember classical variable sampling is the other type of variable sampling they're both types of variable sampling but monetary unit sampling is used a lot more because it's easier remember with classical variable sampling you need to know you need to say okay what is the standard deviation you're using a bell curve you need to know some things about the distribution with monetary unit sampling, you don't need to know anything about the distribution, so it's, it's easier to use. And it's also better when you have a situation where you have either small misstatements that you're expecting, or potentially there's no misstatements at all. In, that, in those situations, monetary unit sampling is actually going to be superior to classical variable sampling.